like the like the Seba um, cracks. Something like that. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm about to head over to the pond and try and catch a few fish. I'm in an online tournament and I'm going to see if I can try and up my rank. I'm currently in fifth place, going to need to do a little bit better to take that first place. My boy Brooks here is going to be hanging out with me momentarily and Cooper. Brooks, who's the greatest fisherman of all time? Stop marking then! You're supposed to say daddy. You're supposed to say daddy. <laughs> my son knows too much. All right, guys. The second my wife gets back into the house, I'm heading over to the pond to try and up my rank. I got to get into top three to place and get a check, so to speak. So hopefully we can do that. I'm a little bit behind, and I only have tonight and tomorrow to finish that up. Let's get over to the pond and see how we can do. All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so the wifeys came home. Time to go fishing. Forever in the shadow of great fishermen. Whew. See if we can't maybe get a couple fish to bite, huh? All right, guys, so uh, switching over to a frog real quick. Got a little popping frog here. Uh, the setup I have is actually a Cast King Royal Legend on a uh, Abu Garcia Black Max rod. I actually find that this rod is really nice for, uh, for frogging. It's a pretty stout rod. It doesn't have uh, a lot of feel to it. So for top water, it's actually pretty good. And this fast little reel I got from Cast King, pretty nice. I've got 45 pound braid on here so I can get through all this stuff. pretty much in love with the whole setup actually for frogging. Uh, I don't really use this stick for flipping because of the lack of feel, but for frogging and anything top water, pretty great. You guys may wonder why I'm working a frog a little bit differently than probably most of you guys work one. Uh, I found that the fish here on this pond specifically like the pause. When you do a nice long pause, that's actually when they tend to hit. Um, the other rig I'm throwing, guys, is just a uh, little wacky worm. There's a lot of weeds in here, so this tends to be really difficult on this rod, but uh, I do really like it. I think it's a nice little little setup. I do have to say the fish have not been biting much on this pond. But uh, I think I might be able to get into them a little bit. They do tend to be further out a lot of times on here. Although the weather is getting colder, they should be coming in shallower soon. And with fall, the bite should really pick up. There's one. Oh no, my drag is not set well. I think he's just a little guy. But a fish is a fish nonetheless. All right. There we go. You got a big old head on you, don't you? You want to be a big fish. All right, guys. Good, healthy fish. Little guy, though. So he's got to go back. See you, buddy. I don't know what's going on in this pond right now. This is pretty wild. Anybody know what this is? When the pond is literally just popping with all sorts of stuff? Like, are those bugs coming out? What is that? What is that? Do you guys see all this insanity? Like, it's everywhere. Like, look at this. Like fish are just breaking water everywhere. 
I don't know what is going on here. This is wild. I do see a lot of bugs coming out though. A lot of bugs coming out. All right, we're gonna switch ponds. Every time that this has happened before, I've seen this happen on this pond one other time and I couldn't catch a fish at all on this pond when this happened. So I assume they're feeding on something. So we're gonna switch over to another little pond here and see if I can't maybe make something happen over there. that that's a fat catfish really got myself a catfish really really good little catfish too oh man I hate catfish ugh well at least I caught a fish Yeah, I'm sure somebody's gonna give me crap about that, but I'm sorry, I just don't like catfish. Dang catfish. Pretty heavy little guy too. All right guys, had to give it one more go. Wow, really? All right, that's fine. We uh, don't have a lot of time. But also, apparently, there's other people fishing the pond. So we might have to make some adjustments here. Damn, I already got stuff on it. And I got the weedless hook today. Just casting a Senko. Well guys, give it a heck of a try. Looks like we're gonna end up probably in fifth or sixth place of that tournament. Uh, it's the best I could do. I mean, it had 140 something people in it. Uh, and my pawns have just shut down on me, unfortunately. So, hey, gave it a shot. At least I was able to catch a fish and a catfish for you guys. But uh, it could definitely have been worse. You know, I could have not caught anything and uh, you guys wouldn't be here with me. So I really appreciate everything, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And, uh, well, we'll see you next time. And hopefully, we can catch some more fish. I'm gonna go home and eat dinner. Happy foozing, guys. Catch you later.